All right, chat, we got why wasn't Reborn more popular? Now, this interested me because this is, I feel like Hitman Reborn is one of those shonens, like, if you know about it, you know about it. But if you don't, like, you probably never heard about this shit in your life. So, I want to hear why someone else thinks it's not more popular, like, why it isn't more popular. I think it just came out in a bad time. I don't know. Let's see. A series that's near and dear to my heart is Batekyo Hitman Reborn. But when you look at Reborn, one of the things it's synonymous with is being underrated. But why is that? Very. Why isn't Katsuki Hitman Reborn more popular? In today's video, I'm going to tackle just that. Reborn's original run was from 2004 to 2012. For anyone who isn't in the anime scene, that's the peak of the big three. I'm talking about Naruto fighting Sasuke to bring it back to the village. Ichigo using Bon Kai for the first time while fighting Byakuya. Luffy using Gear 2 for the first time. The big three were probably at their peak of enjoyment and popularity at the exact same time. And I love Reborn. And as great as Reborn is, it just isn't any of those three. It, it wasn't as popular and it's damn sure not as good. Yeah, I was going to say, like, that's the thing. Like, it comes out and, and it instantly has to compete with these big three. This is why I say, like, the time. The time is just bad. Like, if, if it comes out maybe, like, five years later, maybe it's a little bit more popular. But it's going to go under the radar when you got to compete with fucking Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece and any other show that was doing anywhere close to decent in that time. Like, it's solid. It's a solid show. But to have to compete with some top dogs, like, of course you're going to go under the radar. So, naturally, Reborn was going to get overshadowed by during its entire run, considering that its entire run was smack dead in the middle of the big three's peak. And then even looking at the big three, you just think about when you first started watching them. Naruto was on Card Network and Adult Swim. Bleach was on Adult Swim and, and Toonami. And we all know One Piece was on 4Kids.TV. People really discount how big of a deal these anime being on cartoon networks were. No, that's major. No, no way people are saying that. Without these shows being on Cartoon Network and easily accessible shows to us when we were kids, we probably would have never seen it. That's like, bro, that's like any cartoon. Like, you're not watching, like, all the popular cartoons are popular because where they aired. Like, if you think of any cartoon that didn't pop, that didn't come out on Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon or Disney... Bro, it's probably nowhere close to as popular as any other cartoon that came out on those on those channels. That's just how it is. So, like, if Hitman Reborn never seen the light of day on Toonami or Cartoon Network, like, that's definitely a big factor. That's a huge factor. A lot of anime fans born in the 2000s were introduced to anime from kid networks like that. Yeah. But the thing is, I gotta be honest, though. It's not just the big three. Like, even just excluding the big three, Reborn is still less popular than a lot of series. Fairy Tale, Full Metal Alchemist, Death Note, and Shaman King, they all are way more popular than Reborn. So it's not really just a big three problem. And that leads me to my second point of why Reborn was way, was, was a lot less popular. And that's how the, the Reborn series started. Reborn's intro story arc is called the Daily Life Arc. And I'm not gonna lie, it's a low-key hard watch starting out. If ask anyone who knows me, I'm a huge fan of the story. And even a huge fan of the story like me, I have to admit that it's probably one of the worst ways a series could have started off. I don't remember, to be honest. I actually, it's been like a couple years since I actually watched this show. So, this anime. So, I actually don't remember how it starts. Exactly. I don't remember the arc how it starts. So, I can't really put any crazy feedback. All I can say is I don't remember it being terrible. Like, I remember going into this show knowing that I was going to be older. So, like... Going into it, I knew that it was going to have slow parts because any older anime has, like, the pacing on older shows are just a lot slower than what we're used to now. So going into this, I figured that some parts might be slower. So maybe it didn't hit me like that because I was expecting it. I don't know. But it, it didn't ring any bills. Like, this, him saying this doesn't ring any bills. It's not pulling up any knowledge that where I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember it being crazy slow in the beginning. I honestly don't, to be honest. So this is obviously all alleged because I, I couldn't really get like full, full uh, confirmation on this. But allegedly, this is a result from the mangaka Akira Amano wanting Reborn to be a gag comedy series as opposed to a common battle shonen that you see everywhere. And obviously, I'm not I'm not against people, you know, wanting to break the mold and being creative. Like, do you like whatever you want, do that. 
but if you're gonna go against the grain it's gotta be hard and it really wasn't at least to a new fan whenever i actually do recommend reborn to people i always kind of tell them to kind of jump around the first arc and you got to kind of know that as a viewer or a first time watcher that's a tall task for a new fan because let's just be honest bro having to curate through episodes and kind of finding out which episode you should watch and which one is kind of uh has filled with too much see and that's the thing i feel like you should just tell them to watch it you just gotta tell them like it's gonna be slow like because i don't got good memory i don't know exactly when it picked up but you just gotta tell them like it's gonna be slow in the beginning if you can't get through it it is what it is but if you manage to get through it it's well worth your time so i don't know exactly how long this first arc was how bad it was but I think, like, you you just got to be transparent. Don't tell them to jump around. Like, no one wants to jump around nothing. Just tell them to try a couple episodes. Give them the heads up. Hey, it might be a little slow. But, you know, if you get through that first arc, bro, the show picks up crazy. It gets way better. So, I think you just got to give them that disclaimer right there filler or too much fluff. That's a lot of work when you have series like Fullman Alchemist or Attack on Titan. You could just start the series and... But you can't compare, you can't do that. You can't compare to Full Metal Alchemist. You can't do that. So we're talking about one of the best anime to ever do it. All right. Well, you gotta, you gotta tell them like, yeah, bro, this is just a low key show that I think is underrated. And one of the reasons why I think it's underrated is because the, the beginning is super slow. So if you can't get through it, it is what it is, but at least try it. Like, don't, come on, you can't be comparing it to fucking Brotherhood, but that's not even justice. All the way through, it's all always keeping your interest and in, in captivating you. Just being honest, it's probably a more simple and better experience overall. And that really sucks because I think that Reborn is a series that deserves way more love than it gets. Like, especially on Rewatch, you get to you come to, to respect the daily life episodes way more because you've enjoyed the characters and you see, you get to truly understand what makes them individuals. And honestly, because of that, a reborn remake would move mountains like i've spoken about this a lot overall a reborn remake would be fire bro a reborn remake would be so fire look i'm i am such a big advocate for remakes i think bro i think any show that has some motion and somewhere along the lines it flopped bro remake it bro come on think about the successful remakes bro the most important one is hunter hunter and brotherhood look at those two ones just by themselves like the original was not horrible but like you know there's parts where it just wasn't good so you just it's like a remaster bro and it's just like come on bro shows like this yu yu haka show any old show that people are like i don't know if i'm gonna watch it because it came out way too long ago bro just remake it bro the one piece remake is genius it's a genius because now anybody who's like, bro, the pacing's too slow, it's too old, like it takes too long for me to get into it, bro, they won't have that excuse no more. It's a brilliant remake. So I think remakes should be way more common than they are and Reborn should definitely get one, bro. Definitely should get a re boy. I can I cannot imagine some Reborn fights with the animation that we got today, bro. I can't. But I sp you probably see all on my channel. You just see a bunch of stuff like that. But a reborn remake is something that I think needs to I, I think needs to happen for the series. Like if reborn was ever remade, it would just make the series way more popular. One, but also be looked at as a higher caliber of a series. I think that's a really important thing. And yeah, it's it's, it's kind of a wild though because I, I don't even think that the daily arc is a bad idea. In in theory, an arc where the main characters can interact with each other with little stakes and setup. It can be done pretty well. Like that's not a bad thing if done correctly. But as we know, the daily life arc isn't really the best. Um, but I am I'm really just thankful overall that Reborn switched to a battle shonen because when that shit happened, Reborn really started to pick up its Boy, pace. I'm, a lot of the look, I'm gonna just say this now, bro, so I don't have to say it again, bro. Reborn as a battle shonen is literally elite, bro. The fights, like the sequences. The story, the plot, bro, it is so good. Like, maybe I'm, like, I, since I don't have the best knowledge on the Daily Life arc, maybe I, since I don't really remember it, I can't remember how bad it dragged down the show. But I just can strongly remember the Battle Shonen parts of this show and how good it was, bro. 
that's the most that whenever I think about Reborn, bro, I just think about the fights. I just think about all that shit that was happening and all those scenes, bro. I don't even think about the daily life arc. The, the arcs right after the daily life arc are kind of when Reborn started to kind of hit its prime and its peak in terms of watchability and things like that. So, I mean, it's not just me. The Reborn as a battle shuttle was really, really good. It, it uh, had its moment, but just looking at that, I think even with that, if an anime had a bad start and obviously it was overshadowed by the, the main big three and things like that, Reborn should still be way more popular than it is today. My girl, look at this scene, bro. You can't. You can't tell me this scene in modern Just animation. At that. You, I think even with that, bro. if an anime had a bad start, and obviously it was overshadowed by the the main big three and things like that, Reborn should still be way more popular than it is today. Oh my! But I think the goodness, final point, one of the bro. lasting points, is the lack of hit that, huh? marketability in the states. And bro, that's a fact. Oh my goodness, that's a fact, bro. I swear, I never heard about Reborn a day in my life. Never heard about it, bro. I was just scrolling through a battle shonen list and I seen it. I read a little small summary about what it was about and I said, fuck it. And I started watching it and I instantly liked it. Bro, I never heard a word about Reborn, bro. I, I literally told some of my friends about Reborn. They never heard that shit a day in their life. Bro, the markability for this anime went under the fucking bridge. It's, it's somewhere deep in the fucking ocean, bro. Wherever they shot that markability, they missed. And it just went into the fucking abyss. No cap. Honestly, I think that Reborn not being ever on any sh like networks like Cartoon Network or Toonami or 4 Kids TV, it really kind of hurt because I think yeah. because of that, Reborn wasn't on a lot of games and stuff like that. Like, I remember when I was in middle school, I used to play this this uh, demo about Reborn on like the PSP, but it was, in, it was like a Japanese only kind of game. And there was a lot of things like that. It seemed like Reborn didn't really get the love from the states. And even currently now where Reborn has all this love, a lot of it's in Japan. Like a lot of it's not in America because a lot of people don't even know what Reborn is. That's so a fact. Reborn getting, uh, being on a kid network probably would have done it a lot of justice. Bro, but and the, like it would have done, I feel like if this was on a kid network, it probably would have did so good. Like it has a lot of likable characters and a like a lot of likable shit. Like I can just imagine myself watching this as a kid and just loving the show. Like it probably would be like in terms of like looking back, you would probably look back on this and be like phenomenal. Just like this, how Reborn is now if I watched it as a kid. No, no, no doubt. No doubt I would have that mind that mindset. The last point that I think Reborn really, really missed out on, unfortunately, is the last two arcs. So as great as the Reborn anime is, like I do enjoy it, it's a cool thing. I think that Reborn, the Reborn anime is like two or one or two tiers below the manga. Mm. And that's because of the last two arcs in Katagami Reborn. The last two arcs in Reborn were never animated. And those arcs are the Inheritance Ceremony arc and the Curse of the Rainbow arc. See, I didn't even know that. Boy, I finished that show and thought it was over. Honestly, those two arcs to me are when the characters were really, really solidified. No, they gotta remake it. Now they gotta remake it, bro. They gotta remake it. We got more. You got more content for the remake, too. So you can't even say, like, there's not enough content for a remake, bro. The original anime was, like, a 100-something episode. 180 goddamn episode. What? How long? Let me see. Two hundred and three episodes, and we got two more arcs. We got two more arcs, bro. Reanimate this shit, please, for the love of God. So, in the Inheritance Ceremony arc, to kind of give a little rough overview, we got to see this this uh, rival group called the Simone family, who were from back in the day, basically have beef with Suna's family, which we know is the Vongolas. And they, that arc was amazing. Like, we got to see a lot about the past of uh, the first Vongola boss, which is Primo. And we got to just kind of see him interact with this new boss. And it was just cool. We got to see more characterization of a lot of characters like that. We got to see a lot of stuff like that. And I think it did really, really well for Suna and his family's dynamic. Like there was a really, really cool scene that I, I always, I think I spoke about in the video a while ago where, you know, Hibari's the, again, he's the. Bro, look, I just want to say, cause I like, if, if you know about Hitman Reborn, but just for my niggas that don't, bro, Hitman's, Hitman Reborn, the whole, like, just the whole story and plot lines and about the ancestors and about being head of clans and so whatever the, the, the terms that they use in the show, 
bro, it is so good, bro. It's like so unique that you don't see, like you really don't see any other story doing anything like that. And even to this day, I watch so many anime and I've almost never seen a plot like like power system, yeah, but like a plot like him and reborn. Just the way it's structured. And like at least in the battle shonen part. It just like bro, it's so overlooked, bro. It is, it really is. The kind of an aloof character and things like that. They had these trials, and in, in the trial, before you began the fight, you had to list your pride off, which is like, what are you fighting for? And everyone has a unique thing, and it's very interesting to hear what their pride is, and you can kind of understand their character a lot more. And Hibari is kind of helping Suna because Basically, Suna has lost his will. Hibari has this really, really cool scene in which Hibari basically tells him, like, yo, Suna, I want you to watch my my fight carefully and you'll learn what you, you'll understand what your pride is. And Hibari basically has this cool scene where he's like, okay, well, I'm the cloud, but the cloud, I'm a cloud, so I'm aloof, I do what I want. But it's only the sky that allows the cloud to drift off. And that was really cool because we know Suna's the sky flame and Hibari's the cloud flame. So we have to see that kind of, uh, that metaphor. It was really a really, really cool scene. And of course, the Rainbow Arc, I think that really, really put it together, to be you honest. You niggas don't even know about the flames, but you have no idea what he's talking about. That's, bro, you gotta tap. Oh, you gotta This is an arc in which in. we get a lot of information about the Arco Barleno, which throughout the entire story, they've been really, really big, integral pieces in different groups, different teams, different situations. They've always kind of been there. So to kind of get the answer on them, and honestly, to see them, like, let loose a little bit, it was insane. And it, everything really came full circle from, like, we had a lot of things explained, like, the Arco Barleno and the Vendice. Because the Vendice, like, for the, throughout the entire show, they were these, like, prison guard niggas. Bro, when I tell you also another thing, bro, the villain groups in this show, bro, th this is what I mean by underrated. Because if some of these villain groups were in way more popular shows, they would be so iconic, bro. And I'm not even going to start talking about them because, like, if you haven't seen it, bro, you just got to see it for yourself. But, bro, some of the villains in this show are just literally iconic, bro. They're just, they literally got that him factor, bro. I don't know. There's nothing else I can say. Them niggas are just next level, bro. Like, look at these niggas. This is just an example, too. And like. no one really knew what they were. And the last arc explains it. The last arc, the last two arcs, honestly, in my opinion, they just wrap up the series so nicely. It just every single point of importance for Reborn, those arcs kind of just fill it out. And then I've even spoken on other videos about how Reborn and Suna, their dynamic is enhanced significantly. We see Suna tell off Reborn, he's like, yo, this whole time we were fighting, you were thinking dying a dog's death, you're a bad teacher. That's some crazy shit if you watch or read the series. That like, you know crazy. that that's not something Suna would normally do. So Suna stepping up, it's tough. Or we see a scene where Suna's similar thing, where Suna's trying to get the respect of Reborn or more along the lines of he's trying to build up, he's trying to, they're trying to win the tournament. And Suna basically does what a Von Gola boss would do. Like he gets all of his past opponents and all of his friends and basically gets them all lined up. He calls every single one of them. And it's like, damn, you see the kind of, I'm not going to say or, but you see the kind of pull he has as a leader. It's like, damn. You see how far soon has come. Stuff like that is only in those last two arcs. And I feel oh, like that's crazy because because he's saying that, bro. And, and you see all this character development from him. Like the main character, that's, you know, that's who he's talking about. If you don't know, bro, you see all this character development because he's he struggles as a boss at the beginning and he just gets better and better and better and better. But we never get like a capitalizing moment, at least in the anime. Where it, but like it looks like this is what he means by the manga is just a little bit better because if this is in the anime like my respect for this nigga as a character is just way up than it already is it's crazy that's very very important to know so i'm not gonna lie that last those last two arcs that weren't animated they just put reborn at another level so just honestly combining the fact that reborn wasn't in the states yeah I have to go wise, read them. uh the fact that it was over it basically overshadowed through the whole big three arc because of that its entire run was during the big three's prime that's another issue and then the last two arcs weren't animated so adding the fact that the first arc was clearly very comedic and not the same the same theme as the rest of the series so combine the fact that the series was a very comedic start and was kind of fluffy because of that a lot of filler and stuff like that and the fact that states report wasn't really popular so overall just because of the time in which the series took place the fact that it wasn't in the states the comedic start and the last two arcs not being animated it just makes sense oh god that stuff add up that stuff add up bro because like if you take any one of those factors away from the big three it's not the big three anymore bro so like that stuff definitely adds up bro it really does i think like i don't well what studio 
What studio made Hitman Reborn, bro? Arland. Arland. I don't even. Who even is this? Arland? Oh, okay. Okay, bro. Like, they, these niggas got the time to make a Hitman Reborn remake, bro. It's crazy. Come on. Where is it at? Since why Reborn is now kind of a, a relic lost through time a little bit. Like, a really. An anime that you only hear about when people say some of the most underrated anime of all time instead of some of the best anime of all time. Which is very unfortunate because Reborn's a great series, which I recommend y'all to check out if you haven't already. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and that bro, I forgot this nigga's name, bro. He is so goofy, all bro. Time, instead of some of this the best is the anime one of, of the time. goofiest characters in, <laughs> in anime, I swear. I swear this nigga is so different. Which is very unfortunate because Reborn's a great series, which I recommend y'all to check out if you haven't already. But yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Uh, on the route to 1,000 subs, so obviously Bro. hit that subscribe button. Uh, Fantastic video, CA Domain. Fantastic video on Hitman Reborn. You you talked about that whole perfectly, and you brought some shit that I'd even know about it with the manga. Great video. So you like the video? You'll like this one too. Go ahead and click on that. You're still here. So, so you don't fuck with me? Nah, I'm with this. I'm with this.